Hey, what is up everyone? This is Brian Mittens and I'm going to do my pickup video for June of 2019. Sorry I haven't done a video for the week. I actually got around to playing a few games with a friend. One was shit, but anyhow, uh, I will get a video out in a few days for you to enjoy. I'll probably start doing my collection video, but we'll see. Um, as for the pickup video, yeah, I think it's pretty, pretty decent. It's not the best, but got quite a lot of PS4 games because of CLAB was going on with um, quite a lot of the games I've had before so I'll get to that when I get to them but without further ado let us begin so we have Sonic Colors on the DS uh, I have not played this version of Sonic Colors I have the Wii version the Wii version is one of the probably top five best Sonic games ever made and I just thought Let's see what the DS version's like. Um, haven't actually played it yet, so we'll actually see how it is. Um, paid five bucks for that, so should be interesting. Hopefully, it's hopefully it's not a shit port. It's actually good, but we'll see. So yeah, five bucks for that. Uh, I have a Mega Drive game. This is the first game that I have on this games of this month that I've had before. This one I actually sent to Devil, and while well, I rebought it, that is Monster Boy. Oh, Monster Boy. Fucking hell. Wonder Boy and Monster World. Uh, I actually sent this to Devil, and when I saw this in the shop, I was like, did I send this to Devil? So I sent him a message saying, did I send you Mon uh, Wonder Boy? And he says, yeah, I got it. I was like, okay, I can buy this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Bought this. Utterly fantastic. I have played this when I was a kid. The whole series is fantastic. There's not a bad Wonder Boy game. Um, yeah. Hopefully Sega makes a new one at least. Especially after the success of uh, the remake of the third game. The Master System one. Dragon Trap. Um, we, don't, we won't see it though. So. Yeah. Really happy with that. Cost me $49 unfortunately. So it was expensive but. It's one of Sega's big franchise. Well, sorry. One of Sega's big franchises. And it was one of Sega's big franchises. Now all they care about is Yakuza, Sonic, and Hyper Dimension Neptunia. They don't care about any of their other franchises, which is a fucking shame. But, uh, yeah. Moving on. <laughs> so we have two Master System games. Uh, first we have. The very first Sonic. I've never played this version of Sonic. Um, I know it is vastly different with different uh, stages. In fact, this is most famous for the uh, one of the stages having the a theme very similar to Full House's theme. So don't know how Sega got away with that. But yeah, look, I will eventually play this because, as you know, Sonic One is one of my favorite uh, platformers and my favorite Sonic game ever made. So yeah. Uh, that cost me 25 bucks. Very expensive. Well, I wouldn't say very expensive, especially considering I have seen other versions without the booklet and in worse condition than this. And this one has the booklet, and it's a pretty good condition. I'd give it about an 8 out of 10 for condition. So I'm happy with $25. So, yeah. And the other Master System game I got was Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Uh, once again, I haven't played this version of it. It is actually different. In fact, I don't believe you play as Tails in this game, or you don't have the option to play as Tails. So, yeah, the stages are different. I noticed that on the back. So, we'll see how that is. And, yeah, can't really say much because, as I said, I haven't played it. But, yeah, 25 bucks for this as well. Same boat as the first one, where it's pretty good condition and it has its booklet. Also... I've got to say this, that cover is fucking fantastic. I believe that's the best looking cover I've seen on a Sonic game. And it's very reminiscent of the cartoon. So, that's that's cool. <laughs> so yeah, 25 bucks for that. Next we have some PS2 games. We have, this is another one that I had that I sent to Devil. That is Smuggler's Run 2 Hostile Territory. Ah. Uh, yeah, sent this to Devil. Utterly fantastic game. Really wish Rockstar would remake 
these or make a new one but that will not happen um yeah i paid five bucks for this I believe i paid more for the other one the one that i sent the devil but i don't know i can't remember so yeah now i actually have the game for myself now um so as i said five bucks pretty happy with that quite a hard game to get at least for us so moving on we have a game that i've never owned but i have played on a demo disc that is armored core nexus um this was the last armored core for the ps2 if i'm not mistaken uh never played the actual game i played the demo which was great the armored core games in general are great uh would really like armored core 6 from software but yeah we're not going to see that um yeah and this is the this is like a limited edition i believe because it comes with a cd that has like videos pictures and music it's got two discs and it says on the back of the if you can read like you won't be able to read that but uh it's there's the back but it says on the back of it uh includes a bonus dvd with video music and illustrations so yeah uh this cost me eight dollars pretty happy with that because it's armored core um so yeah i'm really happy with that i don't think devil has this either so it's probably going to try and scalp it off me but uh yeah pretty happy with that eight dollars last ps2 game i got i i pretty sure devil does not have and it's quite a hard game to get now although he might have it and i've just never seen it but uh that is ape escape 3 the disc and case is in fucking mint condition like it is utterly fantastic except for a sticker on the back which can be taken off so i've never played ape escape 3 i've played most of them not this one um yeah can't thing but the series itself is fantastic it also has the metal gear solid snake monkey suit in this game um so yeah what can i say utterly fantastic pay 10 bucks really good deal for this um i'll know if devil has this because he'll say oh i've got it or he'll turn around and say i fucking want it you're gonna send me it um because i sent him two quite a while ago i would have had the whole set more or less for a reason i'll tell you when i get to it but i got three which pretty happy with but if he wants it i will send him it because i know he loves ape escape so yeah 10 bucks for ape escape 2 really good neck too which is surprising um let's move to these ones these are my handheld games i got three <laughs> um so moving on this one i've had before but this is a different kind of had before so i find the cartridge of pokemon blue mint condition mind you like that sticker is mint there is nothing wrong with the sticker uh i owned blue as a kid traded blue for red uh don't ask why um and i s might have been devil i traded my blue to no i believe i traded my blue for red red for another one and then when i moved to the uk i traded a blue that i had there for devil's red because he wanted blue there's that many i've had at the one you know things so i still got that red that i got off devil so i find as i said blue now i went to cash converters they wanted 65 dollars for this so i went to a different second hand store which is like oh, something five minute down the road 30 bucks there's nothing wrong with the prongs nothing wrong with the cartridge there's it looks like it's i've took it apart it's hardly been played someone's bought this as a thing and the, they must have accidentally wrecked the box and just got rid of the game so yeah i paid 30 bucks for pokemon blue mint condition like fuck i still can't fathom how good condition that is um i'll never have to play it as i have blue digital as well on my 3ds so yeah really happy with that uh, I got another Game Boy game. Game that I never knew existed. I mean, 
I call myself a fan of this series, but it's been the fucking few times I've not noticed that this series has been on a console, but we all were all not perfect. <laughs> um, that is Heroes of Might and Magic. This is a remastered port of the second Heroes from the PC onto the Game Boy. There is a sequel to this, which is the third game ported to the Game Boy. So yeah. Um, I haven't played it. I've heard it's pretty damn good. It's, well, for a Game Boy game, should I say. Um, I mean, stick with the actual games itself. But uh, what can you do? I mean, it's if you've not got a PC that can't run it, I don't know why you wouldn't. But uh, it's pretty damn cheap considering I only paid like 30 bucks for this. For a game that I never knew existed. So, really good condition too. Aside from, like, you can see it's been used quite a bit. But, uh, yeah. I would love to get the second one, but the second one is $80. Cartridge. Not not sealed. So, yeah. So, it must be that the second one must have fixed everything was wrong with that, maybe. I don't know. Very similar to what Heroes 3 did for Heroes 2, but what can you do? Uh, so, yeah. I got one Vita game. Uh... Just one that I saw. I actually got it for a reason. I don't know a reason. I got it because it was like a buy one, get one free. And I didn't have anything else to buy, so I thought I'd get it. That is Super Beat Zonic. I would say that's how it's pronounced. It's a rhythm game. That's, <laughs> that's the best way of putting it. Uh, yeah, not played it. Don't know what it's like. I believe this is on 3DS as well, so, yeah. Pay 20 bucks. Was well, was buy one get one free, so 20 bucks because I paid 20 for the other game. So yeah, it was short lived. Um, we'll do the PlayStation One games. Uh every one of these but one I've never owned. No, sorry, B all these I've owned but one, I meant to say. So the one that I have never owned before is, ironically, Ape Escape 1. Find Ape Escape 1, uh, fucking great condition, by the way. Uh, like, just some finger marks on it. I hate that they've got it in the thin case, not the old fat ones, but what can you do? Um... Yeah, I paid 10 bucks for that. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I was like, I got Ape Escape 1 and 3 in one day. If I had got 2, I could have got the trilogy all in one day. So yeah, now I'm missing 2. I have to try and hunt down 2 now. So, or well, maybe 3 if Devil wants it. But uh, Ape Escape 1, because I know he's got this. I'm pretty sure he does. But uh, 10 bucks. Utterly fantastic. Never owned it. But I have played it in Devils. So, yeah. But I have played it. I never owned it. Uh, next we have a game that's... <laughs> I was going... Right, so, here's a funny story. I was going to buy Crash Team Racing Remastered for 50 bucks in Target. Uh, turns out the sale was only for a day and me being a dickhead, I came a few days late. So... It was back up to $60, and I thought, well, I can wait. So I went to a pre-owned store, you know, like cash converters, looking around, and that kind of shit. <laughs> Lo and behold, I found the original. <laughs> um, yeah, so, find the original. I've owned this before, way back when I was a kid. Play the shit out of it, think it's a fucking great game. Um, so, yeah, I will eventually get the remaster. Um, once again, this is the same really good condition only problem with this I can say is it's fucking platinum but uh, PS1 games I don't mind being platinumed because they're not they're not a collector's item I'd rather have a non-platinum too as of the PS3 or PS2 but uh, yeah 40 bucks quite expensive probably because of the fucking remake but uh, you could say I got Crash Bandicoot <laughs> um, but yeah, I used to have this as a kid. 
Really good game, by the way. Not as good as people have made it out to be, but it is good. And the last PS1 game I have is a game that I had as a kid. Loved it as a kid. Um, a lot of people bag it. I don't think it's as bad as people have made it out to be. You be the judge. That is... The Independence Day game. Uh, it's a flight sim, or a flight combat game. I liked this as a kid. I, I enjoyed it. Um, I know a lot of people ripped on it, especially AVGN, which is fine. I mean, we all like games, others don't, or we all hate games, others don't. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Um, so, yeah. I think it's a pretty decent game. Uh, pay 20 bucks. I don't mind. I mean, it's good condition. It's in its original fat case. So, yeah. Really happy with that, so... If you've never played it, I'd say give it a shot. It's not as bad. But I always remember the cover being different. I don't know why I remember the cover being different. I always remembered it had the White House with an F-18 flying past it. But, I don't know. It's the PAL region, so it's not an import. But, yeah. Ugh. So whatever, yeah, 20 bucks. Used to have it as a kid. Really enjoyed it. So we're dying to the PlayStation 4 games. This is where I've got like a lot of games to go through. Um, let's get started. Um, I have two digital games I had to write it down. <laughs> um, so we have Shyness, The Lightning Kingdom, which I've not played. I paid $14.99 on sale on the store. Uh, I believe it's a action adventure RPG think sort of like Zelda but more RPG to it um, and away journey to the unexpected it's a first-person dungeon crawler or dungeon RPG not played it always like the look of it when I saw it way back on like YouTube videos for PC uh, paid $12.99 for that so yeah there's no physical release of these games that's why I bought them digitally so, yeah, they're the two digital games I got. Moving to the actual physical games. So, we'll start. You're going to notice they're alphabetically backwards. <laughs> it's because I've tried to sort my PlayStation games out. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the $20 game that I bought that came with the Vita game was this. I decided to get Elder Scrolls Online Somerset sealed. Uh, I like Elder Scrolls Online. I mean, it's not great, but it's, it's really good. Um, yeah, I need to get Elsefire now, but, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. 20 bucks, sealed, and, yeah. I'm just reading the back of it, because it's, download additional file required to run the game. Contains voucher code to access Somerset chapter. fuck that means um so yeah there's the back if you can see that so I, as i said i just need uh elsewhere elsewhere whatever the hell it's called the one that looks really good um so yeah 20 bucks really happy with that uh moving on i finally got it <laughs> that's what i can hear a couple of my friends saying that is soul caliber 6 uh yeah like soul caliber um, never bought it day one because I bought something else and I never got around to buying it. So now I actually got it. This was $36 pre-owned. So, happy with that. I know it's got your dude from Witcher in it. What is his name? Garrett? Geralt. Oh, it's written on the back. I don't know because I'm not really a fan of Witcher. Um, but yeah, there's the back of it. I'm really good at Soul Calibur, by the way. <laughs> um, I'm really good with fighting games in general. But, uh, not to toot my own horn or anything, but, yeah. So, be interesting to see what it's like. I was running on the Unreal Engine, didn't even realise that. So, yeah. So that was 35, 36, 35, 34, uh, 35 99. So, yeah. I uh, got an indie game that was on disc. I really enjoyed the look of this years ago. On PC, and I thought to myself, if this ever gets a physical release, because they said it was coming to console, and I thought, if this ever gets a physical release, I will buy it. Lo and behold, it did. That is Slime Rancher. Um, 
really looking forward to playing this. I don't know, it just looks really good. Uh, this was imported from the UK because uh, it was $35 on, uh, $30 on disc, 35 in EB, and I thought, I, I can wait. I'll pay 5 bucks less just to wait for the game because I'm in no rush to play it. Uh, shout out to the developer, by the way. Actually comes with a booklet. And the booklet isn't shit. It actually gives you the units and items in the game. Haven't seen that in a long ass time. So credit what credit is, you know, words do. So well done. So I'll get around to playing that because indie games seem to be better than the fucking AAA games at the moment. So yeah, thirty bucks. Um. Next we have, I've got to move that because that's going to come up in a minute, uh, Sega's Mega Drive Collection, oh sorry, Classics, Collection's the PS3 one, uh, I've said what I've said about this in a video, uh, it's got some good games but it's missing a lot of good games, so I'm not going to go on about it, uh, there's like the list, you're better off just going online and looking the list, um, pay 25 bucks. Uh, if you buy it brand new, by the way, uh, it comes with a double-sided poster, which is this. I actually got it laminated because of one side. Uh, you have Streets of Rage and Golden Axe. Uh, I, I laminated it because of Golden Axe, because I love Golden Axe. Uh, I would have preferred them to do fin uh, Fantasy Star on one side and Alter Beast, but... Sega. Um, yeah, moving on. So it was 25 bucks as I stated. Uh, got this for three for four. Buy two, get one free, I think. Anyway, um, new Gundam Breaker. Finally got around to getting it. Uh, oddly enough, if you look at the bottom, holy fuck, they are fuzzy as shit. Sorry, I didn't even realize that. You, you can see... Well, you can't, but they're fucking fuzzy. They're really bad quality pictures. Hopefully the game's not like that. But, uh... Yeah. 18? It's like 3... F buy 2, get 1 free cheapest. This was 18, I think. Yeah. Damn, that picture's... Wow. <laughs> Never saw that. Um, this is a very rare game to get. Now, across all three systems, which is PS3, PS4, and Vita, I highly recommend grabbing it if you see it, even if it's fucking hard, because it's a very hard game to play. Get it just to have, because it's going to be one of the games later on in the life cycle. It's going to be quite hard to get. That is Natural Doctrine. Uh, I paid... 19th this is the part of the three thing um i have this on ps3 always wanted the ps4 or vita version but uh could never find it find it 19 bucks i was like yep buying it don't care it's a strategy rpg and it's fucking hard very very hard if you if you like valkyria chronicles and you want your valkyria chronicles to be hard there's your game uh, you can see on the back, it's like, very, very, very weird game to play, but it's quite unique in a way, if you can get what I'm saying. It's you're best off just checking it out yourself and seeing what you think, but $19. Um, I'm just moving that because that's a part of the deal, I don't know why that one wasn't there. Um, so we have... Guilty Gear, is it XRD, Revelator, I have the PS3 version, find the PS4 version, and yeah, I wanted the PS4 version to go with it, uh, this was a part of the deal as well, this was uh, 20, so I got the Gundam game for free, <laughs> uh, I haven't played this yet on the PS3 either, so I don't know what it's like, apparently it's supposed to be fucking fantastic, so yeah, not much to say. And it fell. Anyway, so moving on. Finally got a physical release here. Thank God. 
that is Hellblade Senior's Sacrifice. Uh, the game that was done by Ninja Theory and we'll never see them because they got bought out by Microsoft. So I don't think we're going to see them make a game on PlayStation again. Could be wrong, but we'll see. Um, really like the look of this. I don't know if it's as good as people have made it out to be, but I'll play it eventually and see what it's like. Uh, doesn't come with anything extra. It's just a fucking sleeve. <laughs> um, and there's the back. That was 35 bucks. I wanted it on disc, so I thought well, I'll get it now because I have a feeling a game's going to be rare in the future. I don't know. So next we have... Don't know why I bought this again. Or sorry, why I bought this. That Because I don't really like the actual game itself. That is Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age. I have this on PS2, of course. I decided to get it on PS4 because it was 20 bucks. And I thought, why not? Uh, yeah. Not much to say. I don't like Final Fantasy XII. <laughs> so moving on, I bought this for 30 this was expensive this is more expensive than 12 that is x and x2 uh i have this on ps3 and ps2 of course but i have the ps3 remaster um yeah i i don't mind x and i don't mind x2 i don't think they're great don't think they're bad either they're just yeah so yeah <laughs> I bought this because it was cheap. I'd probably never play it, but we'll see. So, I actually decided to buy the Steelbook of Fallout 76. Uh, it does actually come with a disc, by the way. So, it's not cardboard. You can see, it's an actual disc. Um, paid 10 bucks <laughs> for a Steelbook. I wanted the steel book, so that's just me. Um, yeah, I'll probably never play the game unless one of my friends buy it. But yeah, ten bucks. Steel book's not bad looking. I've got to be honest. But yeah, <laughs> fucking still can't believe I bought it. <laughs> Pre-owned, mind you. Um, game is fucking fantastic, and I utterly love it. That is. Carmageddon max damage. It has one of those, uh, I forgot what you call it, but the one you move and it changes the picture slightly. I loved the first game back in the 90s. I never played the others. This was supposed to be a love letter done by the actual team to the original. They did a great job. It's like playing the original with better visuals. More content. Although I would have liked them to have the, uh, the portraits of the character moving like they did in the 90s on the screen, but whatever. I played this quite a lot last month. I actually fucking love it. I think it's a great game, especially for something I only paid 30 bucks for. Um, yeah, I think it's one of those, because this was a Kickstarter, this is one of those Kickstarters that actually did its job. So, if you ever liked the original Carmageddon, if you've ever been interested in Carmageddon, check it out, because it's a great game. It's available on PC, Xbox, and PS4, so check it out, guys. Utterly great game, too, by the way. Got a great sense of humor, too. It's not a social justice warrior game. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Um, down to the last two. Uh, bought this brand new, most expensive game I bought all month. That was... Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Everyone's talking about it, so I don't need to explain. Um, yeah, I bought this because the developer dude seems like a great guy, and he did a great job. Uh, cost me $80, as it was a brand new game, but I don't mind giving it to this dude. He utterly deserves it. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to play this, because it looks fucking great. Um, yeah, you never know. It might be a game of the year, for me anyway, but we'll see. Yeah. So, it's like, for anyone that doesn't know, it's Castlevania, Metroid. It's a Metroidvania game.
but it's Castlevania. It's a guy that actually made Symphony of the Night and a few others and shit they got there. So eighty dollars. Really looking forward to playing it, and we'll see. <laughs> Last but not least, you know I've got this because it was in one of my videos, especially for E3. It was Battlefield Five, Battlefield Vagina. Um, it is the worst Battlefield game, but it does some things right. I will give it credit where credit is due. But it does too many things wrong to really be good. <laughs> um, like I've got some fucking funny ass glitches saved on my PlayStation. You should see them; they're 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 really funny. Um, so yeah, thirty bucks. So pre-owned, by the way, was <laughs> wasn't new, definitely. Uh I can't really explain much because it's a battlefield, just the worst one. Get that flare off, but yeah. Um, so yeah, battlefield. I knew they were gonna fall. Fucking knew it. Um, so that is everything that I got this month. Uh, I'm trying to think, did I actually forget something? No, I don't think I did. But uh, that's everything. Hopeful, hopefully it is. Um. Yeah, I'll get a video out like Wednesday. I didn't do one because of Carmageddon and I've been playing Strange Brigade with a friend and Strange Brigade is shit. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and the pickup. Let us know what you think was good. I I actually think the best pickup all month probably uh, I'd probably say was Pokemon only because of its price. It was really cheap. But the best pickup Forgetting prize wise, I'd say is probably the Sonic games on Master System. Just my personal opinion. But uh, let us know. Um, but yeah, this is Private Mittens. Really hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time, guys. Take care. Bye.